All right. So first uh, thing we're going to cover is the distance formula. So for those of you who were not able to make the first meeting or if you're just trying to review what we covered, we're going to talk about the distance formula. So we got this first problem. The first problem is we're trying to figure out what's the distance between these two points, point one, which is one, three, and point two, which is five, six. Okay. And so as kind of the diagram has, is written, we can draw, kind of visualize the distance here. So I've got point one, three, so one, 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 two, three. So we've got point one, three there. And then we've got point five, six. So that's one, two, three. So this is one, this is one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. On the x direction, and one, two, three more. So this is six in the y direction. Let's see. It's kind of here, just eyeballing it. So this is our point one. This is our point two. And we're trying to find the distance between the two. All right, so we're trying to find this right here. Now to do that, there's a few ways we can do it. The first way we can do is we can create this right triangle. All right, the reason why we would want to create a right triangle is because right triangles have this wonderful theorem. So what could we do? We could look at the x values, okay? So we could look at the difference of the x values, one and five. We could create something. So this would be the distance between my two x values, okay? And then I could look at the distance between my two y values. That would be three and six, so three and six, and that would be something like this. Not perfect, but you get the idea. And we can say, okay, well, how far apart is three and six? Well, three and six, they're gonna be three apart. And one and five, they're going to be um, four apart. So now I've got this right triangle. And now that I have this right triangle, what I can do is I can say, okay, well, to find D, I can just use Pythagorean theorem. So remember Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So to find D, I could just do three squared plus four squared equals D squared. Three squared is nine, four squared is 16, and D squared is just D squared. Nine plus 16 is 25, equals D squared. So square root, if we take the square root of both sides, we end up with five equals D. All right, so another way that we can do this problem is by using the distance formula. And the distance formula comes from the same idea of the Pythagorean theorem. So where Pythagorean theorem was a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Basically what we're saying is the uh, distance. So the distance between my x values squared plus the distance of my y values squared is equal to my total distance squared. Right, we found that when we did the other stuff. So then what we're gonna do here is we take the square root of everything. So you got the square root of the distance of my x value squared plus the, the distance of my y value squared is just the distance, all right? So in this case, if I wanna figure out what the distance between my x values is, I can say, hey, one and five, how far apart are they? Four. So we'd say, okay, distance between my x values is four due to four squared. And then the distance between my y values is gonna be three and six. So that's just three, so three squared. And you would you know, finish the problem, square root 16 plus nine, then square root 25, and then eventually five. And we did this kind of similarly in the last problem. Um, but let's say that we want, didn't wanna go that route. So let's say instead, 
we said, okay, the distance of my x value squared plus the distance of my y value squared, what I could really say is this is just my second x value minus the first squared plus the, set, the second y value minus the first squared, okay? So what I can do is I can say, okay, let's let this be x1, let this be my y1, let this be x2, and let this be y2. So your distance is equal to this formula, literally straight from the Pythagorean theorem. But if you can, you can memorize this formula, then go ahead and use it. So to find the distance, we could say d is equal to the square root of x2, which is 5, minus x1, which is 1, squared, plus y2, which is 6, minus y1, which is 3, squared. So then that gives you the square root of, let's see, 4 squared plus 3 squared, which gives you the square root of 16 plus 9, which is root 25, which is 5. So literally plugging and chugging, that's it.